Girls were calling me. Yeah, so pink shirt day started in 2007, uh, and it started when a grade nine student at my high school was bullied for wearing a pink shirt. Uh, myself and my friend David Shepard uh, decided that we needed to do something for this student. That you know he couldn't go on being bullied throughout his high school life. Um, we were seniors. We thought you know we run the school now that we needed to set this example for kids. Uh, so we went out that night. We bought 75 pink women's tank tops. Brought them to school the next day. Didn't know what was going to happen, and pink shirt day you know was born. We had a school of about a thousand kids, and about 800 kids showed up that day wearing pink through you know using social media to share the message through the shirts we had bought um, you know it was amazing to see what it turned into and for me it was like standing up for myself because I was bullied as well when I was a kid throughout all of all of school so it was a way for me to stand up for myself it was a way for me to stand up for this grade 9 student it was a way for me to really make a difference in my school. Hello this is my story of getting bullied in grade 3. Uh, a few weeks since school started a new kid came his name was Keelan. Keelan hated Dominic. He wanted to punch him in the face. But Keelan pushed Dominic to the ground. But me being the scared and sensitive kid, before Keelan punched Dominic in the face, I took the hit. I was on the ground for who knows how long. I woke up later feeling dizzy. And that's where for the rest of the school year until he moved away. But as I was getting bullied, my class hated me. And calling me fat and calling me this and that, and people believe that um, that words don't really mean that much, and that oh, people are just saying this or saying that, and it doesn't mean anything. But words can be really powerful, and it caused a lot of problems for me to this day that I still struggle with. If you're bullying someone, I would say to put yourself in the victim's shoes because you would never want someone saying those things to you, and even if they are being said to you remember how hard it feels and how much it sucks so don't do it to other people and I went from having all these friends to none and that's the effects that bullying can have on you and that's why I'm so adamant now with with love which is I think kind of the only way to do it there is no excuse for a culture of hate and no excuse for a culture of hate includes hating bullies don't become that.